Good morning, everybody. The Rev here. Time for a cup of coffee with Jesus. Yes, it's going to be a good day. Yes. I was reading in the Word. Man, that's some good coffee. Ooh. Living in God's love is the heading. It's in Ephesians 5, starting with verse 1. This is out of the Passion Translation. I know some of you guys don't really like the Passion Translation, but I thought this one really hit home. It says, uh, be imitators of God in everything you do, for then you will be represent, then you will represent your father as his beloved sons and daughters and continue to walk and surrender to the extravagant love of Christ. For he surrendered his life as a sacrifice for us. His great love for us was pleasing to God like an aroma of adoration, a sweet healing fragrance. I love that, a sweet healing fragrance. That's what his love was like, to, even to the Father, was a sweet healing fragrance. Okay, what I got out of this today was like the Lord gave me this boom picture. And the picture was that says, be imitators of God in everything you do. You know, uh, I, have, uh, <laughs> I have four children, all adopted, four. But my three daughters, yeah, one, two, three, three daughters, they like are so much alike. You would have think that they were almost <laughs> what they call them, Irish twins. I'm triplets. I mean, they walk alike. They talk alike. I mean, my oldest and my youngest daughter were walking across the parking lot. I like bought my wife and I'm like, look, I mean, they carry themselves alike going across the parking lot. They say certain words, all three of them don't say about to, they say about to, all the same way. My oldest started it, and the two younger ones followed suit. And I just thought that they are imitators of each other, not out of birth order, but out of time with each other. And that's what the Lord was showing me is just like they imitate each other because they spend so much time with each other and have spent so much time with each other. And that's what I'm seeing out of this is like, be imitators of God in everything that you do. In everything that you do, seek God and be with him and have him involved in it. And you're an imitator of him. Well, first off, you're created in his image of the most high God. How cool is that? He said, let us make a man in our likeness, right? We're made in the likeness of him. So we already have a plus to be an imitator of him because we're made in his likeness. But it's in the things and actions that we do, we're to be imitators. And we're imitators because we spend time with them. And I'm not talking about just a Sunday service occasionally or maybe a podcast every once in a while. It's the daily spending time with the Father through a cup of coffee with Jesus. Still amazing coffee. I think Jesus likes coffee. But I'm just telling you that imitators of something is because you spend time with them. I just, I mean, my kids do the same thing. Michelle and I aren't, uh, Mrs. Rev, are not uh, the natural parents. We're the adoptive parents to our children. And they have mannerisms of my wife and of me. You first and foremost know when you adopt a kid what you're putting in environmentally and what you've put in through DNA. Good and bad. Just telling you, good and bad. So I'm just trying to drive the point home today. What the Lord put in my mind this morning, yes, is that to be imitators of God in everything that you do. We're to be like him in our likeness because the amount of time that we've spent with them. And I know if I bring it up, there's somebody in your life that you know like, man, they must have spent a lot of time in the secret place because so much of God's word flows out of their mouth. Yeah, I got about three, four, five right off the top of my head. It just comes out of them so easily because they've spent so much time in the secret place with God that in their speech, they sound like God because they sound like the word in their mouth. And in their actions, you see it in their fruit. It's amazing. So, hope you have a good day. Be an imitator of God because it's in you to do that.
Don't be an imitator of the world. Be an imitator of the one that's amazing. Our Heavenly Father is so good that he sent Jesus. Yeah, have a good day. Oh, always remember. Yeah, Jesus loves you. I love you. Absolutely nothing you can do about it. You know why? Because I'm being an imitator of Jesus in his love. You know, I might not like some of your actions, but I'm still going to love you. See you soon. Goodbye.